Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a recent post by Mark Rosewater. Mark Rosewater is pretty much Magic the Gathering from the Wizards of the Coast side. And he mentioned Snow Dual Lands and do they fix the problem? It's at least a conversation. In the past, he's been very adamant about not having conversations about Snow Dual Lands. So what is a Snow Dual Land? A Snow Dual Land is a land that has you know, two types. So let's take Underground Sea. It's both a swamp and mountain. So it can produce a black and a blue. But in this case, it would be a snow-covered Underground Sea. It also could have a legendary type, maybe, uh, which would be really fantastic for ED8s. I don't see why we cannot have them for ED8s and just put a legendary tag on them. It would still make the regular dual lands much better than the snow dual lands because you could play four of those in a deck and the legendary ones you could only really use in ed8s as well as a budget version of the actual dual land so it would still keep the people who speculated on underground seas it wouldn't make them happy but i feel like they wouldn't be that discontent either and it would allow a lot more people to play formats that they're currently not in and it would make everyone's EDH better, EDH deck a lot better, to be honest. Even if you're playing the Underground Sea, having a another option would be great. So let's take a look at this post. Again, he's been adamantly against these for a long time, and now he's asking the mechanics of what makes a fair land. From the very beginning, Magic Gathering is unlike every other game. Every other game, Pokemon Energies, Weiss, Card fight Vanguard, if they have energy Kaijudo, if they have energy, it's the energy is really easy to get the best of, and it's not very expensive. And Magic, the most expensive part isn't the Planeswalkers, it is not the really cool cards um, that you can play for the epic effects in ED8s, it is the land. The land are the most expensive part of any budget, essentially, for Magic the Gathering. And if you play Magic the Gathering, you know that. Uh, it's kind of annoying that every single new standard you have to pick up play sets of a, a new type of land and they're always you know in, initially four to five dollars like shock lands fetch lands were up to twenty dollars at one time so if you were playing mardu or four color and you needed 12 fetch lands that's 240 dollars just down the drain pretty much in land base so i've always felt that was mechanically speaking it was a mistake to make lands the most vital part and when i first played this game and lands were not that it was not known that they would get worse right like underground sea we always assumed okay that's pretty cool and we'll always at least have a underground sea until revised left and we realized wait a second lands are getting really bad right now uh, and it the jump off wasn't that they all of a sudden got really bad they were just significantly le less useful and even at that point, you had the argument, which is better? Anyway, overall, lands are something that I feel like they need to fix. Snow-covered dual lands is the fix, in my opinion. It is something that makes a lot of sense to me. And the reason it makes sense to me is, from an ED8 standpoint, it, it's really a budget play and gets a lot of casual players involved. It, it makes whatever they're selling um, imagine as long as one of these sets, instead of having expeditions, we had snow covered dual lands as special cards. That to me is more appealing than pulling a chrome, a chrome mox expedition. I would much rather have something that has utility and can be played in pretty much everything that I want to play in ED8s or can be traded way easier uh, than a chrome mox. No one's, in my opinion, expedition are very hard to trade away for fair value um, but a snow dual land would not and i don't think it breaks the reserve list and i feel like investors uh, who are heavily invested in the dual lands they should be happy because it would give more interest it would bring more interest to a to the dying formats that are vintage and legacy anyway leave me a comment below do you guys like snow dual lands do you feel like it's a good concept or maybe it's a little too much anyway bye guys